Hey everybody, this is Zen and J Tag on Game Teeks and J Tag Galore on TTG. Um, just a video showing how to tweak or replace your lasers from either your Light On and BNQ, which use the same laser, or your Samsung and Hitachi, which again, those two drives use the same laser. Um, I'll just show you the different lasers. This one is the one that's using the sat the light on and the BNQ. Um, it's also uh, the model number is one four one. But if you just type in XR three sixty laser in a eBay, you'll normally find the right one. But don't be confused for them by sellers saying that this is light on one because light on one works in the BNQ and the BNQ works in the light on. Okay. Now this is the one. For the Hitachis and the Samsungs, it's a HD63 model. Um, very noticeable, noticeably different from the light on the BenQ laser. It's slightly bulkier, and it's also got this brown PCB, whereas on the light on the BenQ one, it's green. Okay, side by side. Okay, for tweaking the pot on the BenQ and light on one, it's the one on the right. It's actually got a D marked on the PCB um, on the left hand side of it, looking at it this way. Okay, so you can actually tweak the part without actually removing the laser. Um, the recommended way of doing it is using the multimeter to measure the ohmage on it. But I've been doing this a couple of years now, and I've pretty much figured out that you can tweak it, you can turn it about a millimeter um, each side up to about five or six millimeters. If it doesn't work past that point, it's not going to work at all. Okay, so what I normally do is I t tweak it um, anti-clockwise uh, up maximum of five or six millimeters. If it doesn't work that way, I tweak it five or six millimeters past the original point um, anti-clockwise way. <laughs> and again, if it doesn't work that doesn't work past that point up to that point, then that means your laser needs replacing to replace. To remove your laser um, on the light on um, BNQ drives, that is held in place by these metal clips at each end. There's one up this end. Now, you don't actually have to remove this completely. You just um, loosen it so that, because that so that's actually completely loose. And I've already removed the one from this end, but this one sits. And this is a lot easier with two hands. Okay, so that one sits in there like that. So obviously I've already removed the screw, so that one can just come out. And then undo the clip for the ribbon. Never just pull the ribbon out, you'll break the ribbon. Okay, so that just pops out like that. And then slide the laser down to that end. And pull the bar up at this end. Okay, so there's your laser. And that will just slide off the bar normally. And the only thing to remove from now is this little plastic clip which locks onto the worm motor and moves up and down. So you just remove that little screw and then you remove that. Okay. Now, for the purposes of the video, just to show you this is my replacement laser, you just basically screw that little plastic clip back on and then push the bar back in. Sorry for the dodgy camera angles. Okay, just assume I've done that. <laughs> and then you basically just do a reverse of what you've just done. And then pop it back together. Okay, that was for the light on and BenQ drives. Okay, thanks guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.